Hey fellow Garage Golfers, Roll in and Gilbert here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extraordinary golfer. We are here with Tony, and we're talking about his new product. Tell us a little bit more about your product and what it's called today. You got it. So uh, this is called the Lock-In Golf Grip. Okay, what it does is it forces you to grip the club properly and consistently every single time. Um, you set it to, uh, you can set it to strong, you can set it to weak, or you can set it to neutral. Okay. So for example, I have it set to strong, and you go ahead and you put your hand in here and you slide it back, the back of the grip. It kind of locks your hand in place. It locks up. your hand in place. You take this hand and just cover up your thumb. You know, it really doesn't matter if you're doing overlap, interlock, 10 finger grip, it's fine. The important thing is to have this controlling hand in the right position. Yeah. So you have it here, the top of your hand goes here. But basically what it does is it puts your hands in the proper position every single time. So I'll take my hand and cover it up and then I'll go to my golf position like this and I'm right in place. I'm right in place every single time. So now when I'm doing my practice, you know, this is a training aid. Now when I'm doing my practice, I'll start with little short shots like this, hitting the ball, and then I'll start building on my swing. Okay. So what it does is it forces you to grip the club the same way every single time. Right. You know, I came up with this product by giving lessons many, many years. You know, okay. gotcha. I, I teach, I've been teaching full time for many years. Yeah. And the common problem that everybody has is their controlling hand. Mm -hmm. uh, the leading hand is typically on the club wrong. And it kind of feels a little strange for amateurs, but all the pros are going to a stronger grip. 85% of PGA players have a strong grip, and this is the strong setting. Gotcha. So this is a real nice way to set it, and you every you do, you do it every single time. Okay. Of course, you do it every time. And are you able to hit a full golf shot with it? Full golf shot. Okay. So no you worries can, about hitting a real golf ball, nothing like that? No, nope, nothing uh, like that. Uh, Drivers, uh, fine. Hybrid, anything? Drivers, irons, hybrids, whatever you want. How long does it take to take it off one club and put it on another? Well, right now it's on this club. And I just slide it right off. off. Piece of cake. Takes two seconds. And you said there's three settings, right? There's a neutral, a strong, and a weak? Well, those are the main, yeah, and there's really in between. You okay. can have a weak, strong, right? So basically, these lines will help you do it. So this is considered a neutral grip. Okay. I have it on the line that is lined up with the leading edge. Gotcha. That's neutral setting. So if you go one notch over, now you have a, a draw, a draw, okay. or not draw, a, you know, more of, a, grip. more of a stronger yeah. grip. And then the other way, of course, is a weaker grip. So if I buy your product and I, I get it home and I want to test it out, what would you suggest I put it on as far as the setting? I would start, I always recommend starting with a strong setting. Okay. All, why would me. I say that? Because the pros. Yeah, that's how and they that's do how I do it, because I've been hitting that way. And start with the strong setting. I have a six step program that walks you through a step. So you put it on the strong setting and you go through some shorter swings than that. Okay. I would recommend that. Okay. And then if you just quite can't do it for some reason, you can always try the other settings. Well, we got it in our setup. We got auto tee up so we can keep hitting the ball over and over and see how our ball flight's doing. There you go. Good to go. So yeah, that's awesome. Tell, and tell us what your product cost. Well, right now it's it's on special here, but we okay. it's typically seventy nine dollars. All right, on uh, retail. retail. Okay. okay. And if somebody wants some more information on, what's the best website for them to go to? Best website would be uh, the lockingolfgrip.com website. Okay. L o c k i n <laughs> lockin golf g o l f g r i p dot okay. com. We'll get a we'll get yes. a copy of that. I'll put it in the description so you guys can click on it at home. And anything else we didn't share? Anything else that, that you want to tell us a little bit more well, about? Well, you can actually chip with it too. Nice. Yeah, Very you good. put this on your, your pitching wedge or sand wedge. Pretty much everything but the putter, huh? Yeah. yeah. I, would, don't I don't recommend putter. No strong grip on the putter. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> the putter's a little bit different. This, yeah. this is designed for a swing. Very so, but, anyways, cool. you could chip with it with one hand actually. So, if I had this on a pitching wedge, yeah. you could sit here and kind of go. You could do a little chip shots yeah. with one hand. I recommend on, yeah, working on that little, I call it the left side, follow through. And then once you do that, you just throw your right hand yeah. on. And you do the same motion. I think we're gonna have to get one for Gilbert. What do you think, man? Oh yeah, this is something I actually would like to use. I would love it, Gilbert. Oh he, yeah. He said, "Hey, I want to go check out that booth." He saw you guys. And yeah, we saw you guys come back. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you, Tony, for your time. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Guys, have any thank questions? You. Reach out to me too. at Roland at mygaragegolf.com. And as always, till the next time, keep on golfing. Thanks again. Awesome.